Daily reading of scripture, especially the New Testament, should naturally be joined to the practice of daily prayers. In prayer, we address God, and in the Holy Scripture, God speaks to us. The Word of God helps parents raise their children and helps children respect their parents. Having understood this, the family will turn to Scripture as their best counselor. Again, from Nasha Pascha. The family should set aside a special time for Bible reading in the home. And the best time is usually in the evening. At the supper table, everyone is already there. Or if it's not the evening, maybe you have a meal together at a different time. Whenever you are together. The reading can be done by a parent or by an older child. But make sure that it's not very long. It's just something simple and something that can then be discussed as a family. All of us, young and old, love stories. And the better the stories, the better we love them. What better thing to capture our imaginations and the stories of the saints and those found in scripture? Children will treasure these moments when you read to them and when you tell them stories. There are experiences that are very important to the young and they should become and do. You already tell stories to your children. You already tell stories to your teens and to one another. Why not let them have that religious significance that passes on your faith? <coughs> As we listen to the Word of God together, we learn to become more attuned to God speaking to us, and we can teach one another how to listen to God's words. Through the centuries, the most accessible and beneficial work for the family reading was and remains the lives of the saints. In their lives, the saints have shown us a variety of situations of life and how they resolved them because the sanctity of their life was lived in cooperation with God's grace. From Nasha Pascha. Kids like superheroes. Why not one of the saints instead of? I'm sorry, I'm losing my screen. Sorry, technical difficulties. <laughs> instead of Spider-Man, instead of Batman, instead of any of the Marvel heroes. What about St. Francis, St. Nicholas, Peter and Paul, Macrina, Yosavaka, any of the saints? What about them? Their lives can be just as compelling as Spider-Man. Maybe they don't jump around building to building, but they did do amazing things. As far as reading the stories of saints, children love and need the heroes. And these are models for us also. They show us that no matter what happens, there is hope. And the hope is what brought these people through their difficulties. And it is their faithfulness that allowed them to conquer the difficulties. <laughs>